Akwaba is what they say here in Ghana. Welcome to Accra, guys. I am Travel Tom Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know for buying a prepaid SIM card for Ghana here when you arrive at Accra International Airport. And I'll show you what it looks like when you walk out of the plane through customs, pack your bags, and you arrive in this arrival hall. This is what it looks like when you walk out of the plane, you disembark. And then you get in a, a massive uh, area and you go down the stairs to go to passport control. That's all good. And then after passport control, you walk into Accra duty free. There are the luggage belts, uh, more luggage belts. When I turn the camera around, this behind me is passport control. This is where I just passed through. I've been walking around here at the luggage belt area. This is a tourism information desk. Uh, I asked if I could buy a prepaid SIM card here at the airport. They said uh, no, only outside. We have to go through this custom shop with our bags. Uh, first, let's pick up our bags. There is not much in the luggage claim area, only a uh, money exchange stuff. Okay, we got our bags. Easy now get a sim card. This is the last check that you go through. Yeah, and this is what it looks like when you walk out. Uh, very chill here, as you can see. I walked around here at the airport to find a place where you can buy a sim card for tourists. Well, at the information desk on the other side, they said go to this side. There is a store. The only store to buy a prepaid SIM card for tourists here at Accra Airport is Smice Digital. Uh, unfortunately, there are no shops from the mobile internet providers here in Ghana at the airport. There is MTN and there is a Vodafone, but they have no shops at Accra International Airport. Yeah, here in this mobile phone store, they sell SIM cards from MTN and from a Vodafone. As you can see, it's a very busy inside and waiting times are long. And what are the prices for prepaid SIM cards here? Well, uh, to activate the registration of a MTN SIM card or a Vodafone SIM card here at the Smy shop is a 30 uh, CD. That's a local currency and that's about two and a half US dollars. And then you have to activate a data package. Well, I check for you. Vodafone 10 gigabyte is 100 CD, which is about eight dollars, and MTN for the same for 10 gigabyte they charge around 11 dollars. So Vodafone is significantly cheaper than MTN, but that has a reason because I traveled to Ghana before, and I also did research about what's the best prepaid SIM card for traveling here in Ghana. Is it MTN or is it Vodafone? Well, if you go to the link in the description, there you will find my detailed article with up-to-date prices as well for prepaid SIM cards here in Ghana. And there's also a comparison of the mobile network coverage between MTN and Vodafone. And the outcome of that is very simple. The MTN 4G network around Ghana is much better than the Vodafone one. And therefore, I, Travel Tom Tom, always recommend people that travel to Ghana to get an MTN prepaid SIM card. And what about e-SIM cards for Ghana? Yeah, in the same link in description, there's also more information about getting an e-SIM card on the internet uh, for Ghana. Because here at the airport at Accra, you cannot buy an e-SIM. You can only get physical prepaid SIM cards uh, for tourists. Uh, so if you want an e-SIM for Ghana, then you have to order one on the internet. And there are actually some really nice deals. So an e-SIM card for Ghana starts already from five US dollar from Airalo. Um, they also have for 10 gigabytes, you pay 29 US dollars. So it's only like 2.9 dollar per gigabyte. Uh, there's also SIM options and there's Nomad. So a couple other um, e-SIM card providers that have uh, e-SIM cards for traveling to Ghana. Here a little conclusion, what did Travel Tom Tom do when he arrived here at Accra Airport? Did I buy a SIM card there from the Smy shop? Well, it's so busy inside, uh, waiting lines is at least 20-30 minutes. Uh, so I ordered an e-SIM card online from Airalo. It's just $5 for one gigabyte, at least to get me through the first day. And then tomorrow I probably get uh, a prepaid SIM card somewhere at the mall. So you take place first, then you do this, you go. 
Put it together. Together. Yeah. Number B, 102 at counter five. Thanks so much. Yeah, and as I mentioned, here we are. Next day, next morning, I went to an empty end store. Uh, yeah, they're in the city. Behind me is a Vodafone store, and I bought a local prepaid SIM card. I paid 150 city, which is around 11 or 12 dollars, and I got 10 gigabyte on it. So yeah, that is what I did personally uh, for getting connected uh, here for my trip to Ghana. Anyway, I am going to get my Uber to my hotel. Yes, there is Uber here in Ghana. I hope these uh, tips for getting connected when you travel to Ghana, getting an MTN SIM card or a Vodafone SIM card, uh, the comparison of the network, uh, getting an e-SIM card on the internet. I hope anything of that was helpful for your trip to Ghana. Uh, rest me one little thing is that please hit the like button just for the effort in showing you what's the best prepaid SIM card for traveling to Ghana and when you arrive here at Accra International Airport. And uh, yeah, last but not least, don't forget to enjoy this beautiful country.